The Stratford program has been making rain barrels for the Project Rain Barrel since the very beginning. And usually they're based on books. This year the book that we based it on is called Bugs, Bugs, Bugs. And our rain barrel is full of flowers and bugs, perfect for a garden. How are we going to use it once it's uh, finished? To collect rainwater. That's right, to collect rainwater. Is that good for drinking? For the plants. For the plants, right. So, I mean, my, my kids really, really love the rain barrel. I think it's because the rain barrel is so big and bright and kind of in their face that's, and tactile that some of them, it's been some of their favorite activities that we've seen and really seen some of them come alive in ways that I haven't seen with almost any other activity that we've done. What makes honey? Bee. A bee, good job, it's right there. Ladybug. 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 What is this? Baba. Flower. Good, it's a flower. I mean, I was amazed how many kids are really familiar with rain barrels. I think kids have them. We have them around the school. They may, Some of them have them at home. Um, I think they really like that idea of the sustainability um, that really attracted them. It's been a great opportunity to provide some differentiated instruction for our students. The idea was based on one of the students' designs. We had all fifth grade students were able to submit designs for this. And he wanted to do a koi pond. As we were researching and starting to pull images of a koi pond, we discovered that it's really a dark, murky mess. So we're taking some artistic license while we're doing koi fish. We're sort of doing a, a kind of a coral vegetation inspired, but kids who really, really love to paint. I mean, this is all student generated. It mobilizes everybody. It's really working not only the teacher, but the whole school, because everybody's aware of what's going on and they come and throw ideas. And, and it benefits everybody. Really, the kids work together as a team. That They did their own research, they share with me via Google Docs their ideas, and based on those images, uh, they came with the idea of a constellation and the team reaching for the stars. Uh, we're making the uh, constellation of the lion we did it because we wanted to make it actually have a theme. So we like started thinking about what we could make it and what what we could make the theme be and have it make sense. So we made it the Langston Lion. Everyone working together and they collaborate ideas. So it's not just one person's vision. It's like a group efforts vision. So it's more interesting when it all comes together rather than just like one person doing everything. And it's really like important to save the earth because it's what we live on. And I think little stuff could help the earth and it could help us and I think it's a great idea. And you'll also have fun painting on it. <laughs> My family has a rain barrel. I think it's a pretty good idea because I feel like we probably do at least like a lot of water just getting it from our hose and leaving it on. So if we can collect the rain and like actually conserve it, it's a lot better. Oh, uh, we're gonna try to make it like DC themed. So this is the metro down here and I'm gonna paint it. I did the drawings and then I we cut them out with an exacto knife and then we will do it on we'll cut it out on this as well so that these this can be a stencil and we'll tape it to the barrel and spray paint these so i mean like i guess the capital will just be like down below like right here and then that's i don't know if we're really going to put the tree like that big but this would be the capital and then Houses over there somewhere. Yeah, and just like have like the um, like around the barrel though. I think it's over here. Yeah. yeah, just like have it like around. Just, <laughs> and yeah. then some are gonna be like on top, and then others are gonna be on bottom. Then we're gonna add in the details later, and then I guess put a primer on it, and then it'll be good to go. So we're painting a rain barrel, and only the third graders are, and um, we are going to donate it. We're in the desert theme. And um, we're doing the animals that live there. Well, um, I finished doing the eye and the nose, and right now I'm outlining the ears. And somebody else, when they come up, they're gonna cover this up. We're we're going to like this auction thing at George Mason. Sorry. Um, and um, they're doing this rain barrel thingy, majiggy like all over like the county like lots of schools are like painting ran bale barrels and like putting them in like the auction thingy the jiggy. We're working on the desert biome, like different animals that have are in the desert. Like,
there's a lot of plants actually in deserts. You wouldn't think so because it's so hot there, but there's actually a lot of animals living there. I like about it is all the life in the rain barrel. So, um, the, so the water would go, the rainwater would go into the barrel, and then you would connect a hose. To, then you, then it would get stored, and it in the in the water is fresh, and it contains a lot of nutrients and stuff for the plants. So, um, the and then you can connect a hose or any, and, and like there's a tap or something where you can um the, where you can um get the where you can get where you can fill up your watering can and water the plants, or you can do a hose. And you can also grow stuff on top of it, like flowers. Using rain barrels ties into the larger goal of sustainability. Um, the reason we use rain barrel is to capture what would become stormwater runoff into the bay and carrying with it all of the nutrient pollutions and um, other undesirable materials into the bay. Once the students understand why we're do doing the rain barrel, then we get into the design issues. And part of our goal is that the barrel must be a public service announcement about some aspect of the environment. And this year, we chose to do the seasons on Boston Pond as a model of a temperate deciduous biome. So all of the images on the barrel are actual uh, data, photographic evidence of the species diversity taken by students, documented by students. So you've got this amazing habitat, wetlands habitat, in the midst of an urban setting and all wild things need is a little bit of habitat. The Rain Barrel Project ties in the concepts of protecting the bay, but then it gives the students an opportunity to express their understanding about the value of species diversity and the um, impact that human species can have on preserving other species by just tucking in a little bit of habitat somewhere within an urban setting. It's a great uh, investment for our, for our future.